Since last time we did uh, the other two scenarios, um, lock scenario was on the left, and then, uh, what was his name, Sabin's <laughs> uh, little mini arc was on the right. So now let's go ahead and uh, do this last little group. Fling the Emperor's troops, Ben and Edgar and Terra ride the rapids towards Narsh, but the going won't be easy. So we had just finished beating Ultros, and but the fighting continues. Uh, oh, I guess they like fully healed me. That's pretty cool. Mm, wait, oh, that sucks. Oh, they did no damage. Alright. So honestly... Well, I don't think I'm gaining too many levels, but... Again, I still think I should try to not... not do or gain too many levels because uh, once I get espers I can start uh, leveling up their stats depending on which esper I have equipped oh oh I killed him I was like I didn't realize he had a wand but yeah once I get my first espers I can show you what I'm talking about Yeah, we're already back to the beginning of the game, pretty much. Uh, this is go for the beginning adventure, despite all recent activities and technology. The outside world remains full of monsters we know little about. Here we provide advice to travelers brave enough to face its many dangers. Well, I mean, that's like the tutorial home, I believe. Find the passage to the home of the old man who helped you. Uh, do I just come back the way I came, or... Oh. Yeah. When Locke first rescued me, we came out of the mines right around here. He fiddled with something. Yes, he told me. Twist this stone like this. And. Bam. We are inside. Ah! I'm fighting already, huh? What if they are weak? Hopefully they are all weak. They are weak. Nice. Alright. I feel like I should just run away from these encounters. Because I'm not getting any AP. Uh, let me try to remember. Wait. I think it's this way. Nope. Take it back. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh, he's already gone. <laughs> We're all gone. I see. So I guess I can't act if I'm trying to run away. Which makes sense. Oh. Oh, I think I have to follow that little path for whatever reason. I think I forgot it already. There's room here that I used to test applicants to the city guard. You should be able to follow the light. If we make a mistake, lights will surround us. Then we have to tag the glimmering orange light to proceed. I think I'm a little surprised that I remembered all that. I'm assuming you have to fight if I mess that up. I don't think I can go this way, actually. Yeah. 
Let's go back this way. Maybe it's kill, uh, easier killing him. Move out the way, Mugo. Kubo. Kubo. All right. Yeah, we're blade out of nowhere. Oh. safe spot. Oh, he's banding in the back. Yes, he is. There's also in back. Let's see if we can put a rune blade on Terra. So I draws MP from his wielder to deal crits. Ooh, I don't think I want that actually. In case I need to use magic. Back attack. Bannon, King Edgar. Oh, and Terra too. Arvis, how are things, or how do things stand here in Narsh? Same as always. The town's neutral. I've tried to convince them to side with the Returners, but it's no use. Of course, maybe with you and the King of Figaro here. How are the townspeople? Everyone's been a little on edge since the Esper Hat was discovered. We believe Terra may be able to help us get answers to our questions about the Esper. Well, the townspeople are still quite curious about it as well. If we approach them in the right way, there's a good chance they'll agree to let her see it. <laughs> Edgar's like, no. Oh. That Esper is either going to save us or dig us an early grave. It's not wrong about that. Oh, that's it? Alright. It's like the party's all assembled. The group, the three groups have arrived in Narsh, and now a decisive battle is about to unfold. I understand what you're saying, but you're asking us to spill our blood for you. That's not what we asked. What you asked is the same. Ha, you're absolutely right. Bannon, you asked, we're asking you to spill your blood. Emperor Gastal is racing to acquire ever greater Magitech power. That's the reason he wants the Esper that was discovered here. If we allow the Empire to continue amassing weapons of Magitech destruction, <laughs> uh, uh, history's greatest mistake will be repeated. Weapons of Magitech destruction. <laughs> I respect that. WMDs. Uh, the War of the Magi. The legendary conflict that laid waste to the world. You're saying it could happen again? I had thought humans to be wiser creatures. Uh, Egger! Seven has arrived with some friends. Seven, you're alright. Who have you brought along? I am Cyan, a warrior of the Kingdom of Doma. 
Oh, ow. <laughs> Nibs Gow. The Empire killed everyone in Doma, down to the last child. Kefka poisoned them. Barbaric. Elder. But that was because Doma was collaborating with the Returners. As long as we remain neutral, we have nothing to fear from the Empire. You say that. Think again. Locke, the Empire is poised to attack Narsh as we speak. What? Locke, where did you manage to get your hands on that on information like that? Celeste here was one of the Empire's junior. So it is, sir. I thought you looked familiar there. So, gal, step aside. The infamous General Celeste, the woman single-handedly responsible for the decimation of Miranda. Stand and meet thy judgment, Imperial Best. Wait. Celeste has promised to join the Returners. She's fighting on our side now. Be that as it may. I promise I'd protect her. And I won't give up a woman... Or up... Yeah, up a woman I've sworn to protect. Luck. You still haven't gotten over that, have you? I was also an Imperial soldier. What? <laughs> The Empire is evil, but that doesn't mean that all of its citizens are. <laughs> Seven looks like he's a boy. <laughs> I'm going to defer to my brother on this one. The Empire's here. Wonder attack. Oh no. Alright. Oh Jesus. I don't care what you have to do. Just give me that Esper. Kafka, sir. What about the civilians? What about them? Kill them all. But, sir, Narsh is a neutral city. Idiot. Read my lips. Mercy is for wimps. There's a reason a, a pose rhymes with dispose. <laughs> if they get in your way, kill them. March. Yeah, despite how like kind of dark this game is, uh, you know, have those comedic relief situations mainly with Kefka, but it seems the choice has been made for us. Let us make ready for war. They're here for the Esper. We move it up to the cliffs above the valley. Then that's where we'll make our stand. Locke has a complicated past. Don't go falling for him now, thinking he's protecting you out of love. Thanks for your concern, but I must not blah blah. Talk too fast. Take it. <laughs> Dang it. I can't read that fast. Terra, who'd have thought we'd meet again like this? You could use magic too, can't you? But it's different from mine. I was raised to be an Imperial Magitech Knight. When I was still very young, I was artificially infused with magic. Is it possible for you to love other people? Are you mocking me? <laughs> Wait, what? Do not think even for a moment that I trust thee. Fine. Use your own eyes and see for yourself which side I'm on. I guess I can save. Oh, what? Oh, what? Why did I just change back to Terra? That is a strange... Strange... Well... Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Alright. Protect the Esper from Kafka. Is that explanation? No. Uh, move characters anywhere you want by selecting their buttons. Create a party by placing uh, characters in the lower slots. So we have up to three parties. Uh, how many people do I have? Two, four, six. Two, four, six, seven. Uh, two parties of two and a party of three. So that sounds about right. Uh, Ban is not joining us for whatever reason. Gal is kind of like a berserker. Pretty much, he's just gonna auto attack more or less. Uh, 
think the damage people would be Edgar, Cyan, and Sabine. Celeste and Terra are healers, so they can probably go with the party of two. And then the rest will be party of three. Uh, and honestly, I feel like I'm going to try to cheese it. Because I believe it's the same as the first time we do this little, like, foot battle. Whatever you want to call it. Um... footman battle because I think we just had a fight Kefka the main dude All right. here they come yeah there's Kefka just gotta beat him and I think it's over oh if it isn't General Celeste the traitor excellent now I'll have to hunt you down later <laughs> that laugh so I could, you know, fight everybody if I want to, but again, I can just skip all the fights and just go for the main Kefka. Mm. Let's see. I might just equip it, but I don't think I'll be using uh, his auto attack. I don't want to use the Rune Blade though. Alright, let's see if I can just get to the main guy. I forgot where it was. I can just. I'll just, just fight one. Screw it. Fight one! Should kill him all right. Oh, except for one. He's cheating. It's okay. You get sliced and diced. All right. I think you just fight two and it should be good. I wonder if the. Uh, Bio Blaster does more damage than the Auto Crossbow. Or maybe it depends on who I'm fighting, I guess. Well, I guess it's too late to really test it, but let's go ahead and use it. Oh, it does way more damage than the Auto Crossbow. Oh, I'm about to. Wait. Fidor. Nice. Nice. Oh, he got back up. <laughs> Looked like he just got back up. I do need to heal, though. Ouch. I try to spam the menu button here. Oh, what? It's probably that guy. Oh, shit. Who are thou? Oh, this might not be good. I need to heal myself. Yes. Yes. 
Oh, what? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't mind fighting everybody, but I was hoping to yeah, skip out on all these battles, but it is what it is. Alright. Alright. I killed everybody. I think I got back up. Alright. Time to kick your butts. Ouch. What's my health looking like? I think I should do... No, I think I can get away with... Um, fighting him. Or, uh... Not healing, I mean. Alright. I think auto crossbow might be stronger. Oh, shit! Don't kill me, bro. I'm just gonna go for broke. I think I'm dead. Oh. Oh, uh, fine. Fine. I have this feeling I'm gonna have to fight with. Uh, I won't be able to kill him right away. I don't know. It is silly that I do like respawn back at the main camp, if you want to call it that. going very poorly. Nice. Oh gosh. <laughs> They're about to get screwed here. I tried to cheat, but it didn't work out. It sucks too because I can't like menu and then like switch to the other parties through the menu. I have to do it on the field. It's fine enough, like, I feel like these enemies are a lot harder. <laughs> a lot harder than these, or the other enemies that we fought against.
<laughs> They're not letting me do anything. Oh yeah, I forgot to... Uh... Use his face. Has a counterattack. Sabine. Alright, Terra. Let's have you heal everybody. Too many of them. Ooh, magic tech armor. Ouch. Holy crap. I also did not, uh, Put the best, like, loadout. Ouch. That doesn't matter. <laughs> They're going to be lining up to fight. I don't realize that only does 200. <clears throat> Alright, uh, I think we're just gonna fight everybody. That's not that great. <laughs> I was hoping it'll do more damage, but jeez, oh, crap. <laughs> so I don't get a chance to do anything.
Oh. Sure, uh, the other party fights this guy. Yeah, get your dog out of here. Let's try this again. I love how the music just continues from where we left off. Now I think right now, uh, Sabine is the strongest. Alright. I should probably healed. It is too late. Seven, you have to kill him. Kill him. Not like this. Ah, oh, shit. He's gonna do it to himself. Nope. Yep. He killed himself. This is a fool. I wonder if. Um, If he retains his same HP, or does he, uh... I should probably auto-attack him, actually. Hmm, I think I should probably heal with her. Raging Feastal. Because regardless, if he uses uh, magic on us, that's pretty much a guaranteed KO. Yep. What's that? Alright. 264. What's Aurora Beam do? Or Aurora Cannon. Uh, there's way more. <laughs> Dead again. <sighs> Ouch, kind of forgot about that. Right in the butt. Oh, he hit himself. Interesting. I'm running out of everything. What? That's a super dead end.
Oh, yeah, I'm an idiot. Hmm, I should have been uh, using Aurora. Or not Aurora. Uh, Runic. To absorb uh, Kafka stuff. But yeah, let me... Uh, I guess use the ether. On my backside. That's actually all of them. <laughs> so I was trying to skip them all, but I, I eventually I ended up just fighting them all. That sucks. Anyways, let's, let's be smart this time. We're using Runic. And we're just going to keep doing this until he's dead. Yeah, give me that. Oh, so yeah, Runic pretty much absorbs all enemy magic attacks. I should probably heal myself, though. Give me that. I think I should have uh, done this the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if I'll remember this for my future playthroughs. That I'm supposed to just be using Runic against Kafka. And obviously I'm going to need like a stronger party. At least to beat it first faster. But there it is. Don't think you've won. Flee. Peace ring. I won't forget this. Teleport. Where's the Esper? Is it alright? There it is. Whew. Esper safe. It also appears to be alive. Is that even possible? I mean, he's like Captain America. Just freeze him. Should be good to go. Terra, what is it? Oh yeah, this is where uh, she... <clears throat> she has a adverse reaction to the Esper. No. Terra and the Esper, they're reacting to each other. What? What is this I'm feeling? Hmm? What's going on? Please tell me, who am I? Who? <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that's a. Uh, I'm trying to remember where that's from. Terra. The Esper. It's responding to her. Terra. Get away from that thing. Yeah, she had uh, resonated with it before. And now it's happening again. Ooh. She, uh, what was that called? Went into a trance. Trance mode. Now she is off. I'm just going straight to Super Saiyan mode and just flew away. Go 
down. I guess we'll have to find out where she's going. <laughs> Flying across the world. Don't even know. Uh huh. Are you awake? Where's Terra? She turned into a uh, something and flew off. She looked like an Esper. She, yep, <laughs> she looked like an Esper. Lock, are you okay? Yeah. <laughs> Something's happened to Terra. There must be some sort of connection between her and the Esper. We need to find her. Witnesses said she went streaking <laughs> westward across the sky beyond Fiargo or Figaro. And streaking you means you're naked. Of course, she, uh, I don't even know if that was true nakedness, but. We've gotta hurry. I promised I'd protect her. Stop promising people you'll protect them. Locke, let's not get ahead of ourselves. The Empire will be back again for the Esper. And someone needs to protect Bannon. A former Imperial soldier. But still, we must help her. Agreed. Let's split up. Those who aren't searching for terror will stay here to guard against further attacks. Figaro Castle can shut the others... Wait. Can shuttle the others to the Western Province. It shouldn't be hard to track down clues in Koligingen or Gidor as to Terra's whereabouts. So who do I want to take? Uh, guess you. You for healing. You for AoE. Or you for stealing. I feel like I do this party every time. That's okay. Oh. How do I get out? Oh, right here. You look sure. I think a lot of the clock towers have elixirs in them. If I'm not mistaken. Not all of them, of course, but a good number of them. I'm definitely what I'm definitely gonna try to find or to buy more healing items because I went through so many of them. It's really bad. Let's see. Let's do some of those shields. Let's do two. Try not to go crazy with the uh, buying stuff. Oh, wait. There you go. Black Bat Star Pendants. Give you the earring. And probably the gauntlet, too, actually. Let's unequip the Rune Blade. Mm, he's pretty much gonna only be using his tools, so I don't really care what he has. And that's it. Let's check the weapon store. Or I guess the item store first. So I don't waste all my money on items. Uh, smoke bomb tent. should do Whoop. Wait, yo move move for relics sprint shoes jeweled ring bear your ring cash out when we're critically wounded with a glove cast protect when we're critically wounded don't want that though prevents poison and darkness I can actually want one of those. Split shoes. I feel like it's not a bad idea to, to <coughs> excuse me, protect when I'm uh, low on health here. 
Let's have you be. Uh, prevents petrification. Oh, yeah, I forgot that uh, blindness doesn't really do anything. Sword, Mythical Claws, Chain Flail, Moon Ring Blade. Sure. Uh, if I get the Moon Ring Blade, that means I can be in L back row. This has wind damage if I need that too, but I don't think I need it right now. Alright. Let's go ahead and. Head west. Nice, no encounters. That's like the perfect scenario. Uh, I think you're right. Yep. Lots of crest this month. I can take you to the desert beyond the mountains if you like. Let's go. No time to waste. <laughs> Old man grunting. <laughs> Pull that lever. Alright. So we need to figure out where Terra went. I vaguely remember, but... Ooh. It's nice that they uh, tell us where to go. Alright, we are here. Alright. Back attack. Doken. I think all these guys are weak, actually. Only six damage. Alright, is that talk everybody? Strange glowing creature flew through here. It scared the living daylights out of me. It took off southward uh, towards the door. My younger brother is a bit eccentric. He lives up north. Or lives alone up north. Says he's going to build a coliseum or some such nonsense. What? That thing. I don't know what it was, but it tore up my house. Some kind of glowing monster. Oh, can't even go inside. <laughs> oh, Locke, is that you? Have you stopped by Rachel's house? It's my dream to see an opera at the opera house south of door With a handsome date, of course. I'll get all dolled up, put on a sequin dress. Alright, is there any new items here? There's holy water. Uh, I feel like I might need. Oh, I don't have that much money. I don't even know why I even bought it. But impulsive buys. Yeah, I'm pretty sure everything is about the same. I see there's like two treasure chests up there, but cannot get to it. I'm assuming. So lots of treasure chests. I guess there's there for show, but you can't actually go there. A girl named Rachel used to live in that house up there. No one lives there anymore, though. So, Locke's backstory here. I... I couldn't protect her. Uh, I think what happened to... Well, I guess we had to find out, so there's no point of trying to... Whatever. What are we... Off to find today? It's almost your... There's supposed to be an amazing treasure hidden somewhere in this mountain. We're gonna find it. Locke, look out! It's like, why would she... Rachel! Uh. 
He drops out anyways. Rachel, are you awake? I... I can't remember anything. Oh, amnesia. Get out of my house! It's your fault Rachel lost her memory. Wait, just let me talk to her. Please, just go away. I don't know who you are, but my parents get upset whenever you come here. Damn. That's sad. Rachel would be better off without you hanging around, Locke. She's going to have to make a new start of it. With you here, she can't even do that. Dang. So sad. A year went by. When I finally returned, I found out that Rachel had been killed in an Imperial attack. Remember, had just returned just before she died. The last thing she said was, my name. I never should have left her side. I, I failed her. In the clock. Yes, sir. Oh, too bad I can't sleep in the whoop. It's bed, so. Yes. Yeah, tragic tale. Best stay away from the house on the eastern edge of town. Crazy old Coot sits in there mashing up smelly old herbs all day. I even heard he's got a ghost in his basement. A ghost in his basement. This girl's a little crazy. I saw a pretty light. It came here and everyone else was afraid of it, but I liked it. <laughs> was that thing really a monster? It stopped right in front of my little girl, and I could see it had gentle eyes. Uh, is there stuff in these barrels? Oh. Oh. Oh, Locke. It's been a while. Ages, even. Oh, that? Worry not. Worry not. Your treasure's quite safe. He, he, he. Wait, is that Rachel? It's a good thing you just happened to have finished Herbal Concoction back then. Now she'll never age a day. He, he, he. Had to use my herbs, I did. Couldn't very well refuse with you begging me like that. Yeah, I think this was, uh, there's more backstory here. Rachel. You sure the stuff will work? Of course, of course. The love of your life will sleep here just like this forever. And ever. And ever. <laughs> He's a creepy old man. If there were a way to call her spirit back. A way to call her back, eh? You mean like that legendary treasure? <laughs> oh yes, I suppose if you had that, you would be able to bring her around. <laughs> That man, so silly. I failed her. Lock. Hmm. Real question is there a secret passage? If so, did I miss it? Uh, I guess there might be a back door. I can go back there so I can get that chest. Let's try it before I leave. Yes, sir. You get a green beret. Green beret, I believe it adds attack or strength at least. Uh, let's see who I want to add or give it to. Probably seven. Captain provides eighth bonus to maximum HP. Ah, because it does something slightly different in this game. I'll take it. Alright, let's save that little uh, sequence of events. But you just go south to Jador. Let's fight these things. I 
Sam Shear. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah, that's half my HP. Did not kill. Oh, that did though. Thank you for counterattack. Oh. Yeah, yeah, we get a lot of money in this game. Uh, especially compared to the old games. I'm just gonna do auto battle. It's pretty much gonna be the same thing from here on out. I gouge. Oh, not darkness. Good thing it does do no damage. You guys, you saw like the accuracy stat kind of didn't uh, matter, I guess, because I hit it as if it was normal. Oh yeah, I think I have to go all the way down and around to get to your door. The westernmost town on the world map. <laughs> okay, that's nice to know, I guess. Every once in a while, one of those shady kids from Zuzu or Zozo wanders down here, looking for an easy mark. Be careful. Nice well, the auction house, right? Murray, the famous opera diva, is absolutely gorgeous. Here's the opera, the auction house. I saw a girl bathed in light speed off towards the northern mountains. Class device quite visible here. All of these middle class families live in the southern part of town. The richer folks live up in the north. You can see one of their enormous mansions from here. I'm going to be an opera singer when I grow up. Huh? You don't know where the opera house is? It's way south of here. I can probably jump into the opera house for a second, a little bit, but. You're the speeding image of Maria. Huh? Have heard of her? You say she's a famous opera singer. Ooh, Uther. And again, they reward you for just exploring. Yeah, I might have to come back here later. Well, that piece of armor kind of looks suspicious. This one looks awfully familiar. Picture of a lovely lady. Suit of armor. Deep bucket. Appears to be a lamp. But yeah, I have to come back here later on in the game. So for now, I'm just gonna leave. Yeah, I don't think I really have enough money to do the auction house. I only have two thousand. <laughs> yeah, let's just get out of here. I'm supposed to go north now. What? What? I wonder if I should have used the inn. Oh my lord. Let's go and use the inn. <laughs> That's uh, armor shop. In. Hopefully you're not super expensive. These folks in Zuzu, Zozo, don't have an ounce of honesty among the lot of them. Don't trust a word they say. 250 gil. That's robbery. That's okay. I think a tent costs like, what? Is it 350 gil? I forget. So I guess it's better than paying that. I don't remember the price. Alright. Let us go back to what we were doing. We're gonna way up to it's like Zozo in the mountains. Oh yeah, it took me a while to figure out how to get through this little part up here. 
Hopefully it doesn't take that same amount of time. Golden Ranch. I only did 32 damage. Right, let's see if I remember how to do this. This guy is passed out. Yeah, it's crazy that there's like battles everywhere. But hopefully I don't run into too much trouble. Wow. Easy. Second hand on my watch is pointing at 30. I believe the clock thing has something to do with stuff. Oh. I think this guy steals money. I think he's about to die. Gigas. It's so big. Wow, 561 damage. Let's probably switch to Bio Blaster, actually. Oh, he's already dead. The door's rusted shut. Ether. Defeated. Jeez. Oh, Oh, ah! Uh. <laughs> Jesus. I guess you should re use Runic if I... Uh, if I can't, uh... Kill it right away.
Oh, high potion. Oh, okay. I was like, I didn't tell my guy he's high potion. Oh. <laughs> so it didn't matter that he used high potion. Cause he is dead. A girl. Nope. Haven't seen any girls lately. And there's definitely not one on the top floor of this building. So don't bother checking. Psh. It's like, uh, thanks for that. Phew, how long do I have to keep this up? I think they have some great people here. You can trust everything they say. It's actually the opposite. You can't trust anything they say. Hey, no cutting in line. I should have cut him in line. Nice. So I forgot to use uh, Runic, but she's dead. Alright, go ahead and do your thing. Bile Blaster. Golden Ranch. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Let me go there in a second. Brigand's glove. I believe that allows me to steal more often. Oh, I didn't realize I had sniper's ring. I'm a dummy. I right, change it to mugger. Don't mind if I do. Let's go ahead and heal again. It's kind of cool that one cure is like enough to really not worry about uh, damage. Alright, now I need to jump across to the side. Oh. Let's go ahead and mug. Bio Blaster. Give me that. Oh, can't steal. It is dead though. Across. All the way across. Yeah, this wouldn't be so bad if uh, there weren't so many battles. Even if the battles aren't that fast either. That's really a sign that I am low level. Learn imp. Just sitting here taking one fire attack and I die. I guess one magic attack of any type, uh, sort and I die. Uh, what? No, I forgot to activate runic. Hopefully Aurora uh, hits the mage, and yeah, it does, so we're good. I watch second hand is pointing at the four. Submit at three, second at four. Wow. <laughs> he has not been able to steal anything.
<laughs> what if there's another item that allows me to actually have an increased rate of success on stealing? Ooh, ether. And a high potion. And an encounter. That's really turn off. Auto battle at the. Oh, probably stole something. Oh, she did anyways. Yeah, she turned auto battle at the end of the each fight. <laughs> Jesus. Alright, that's fine. Because it's a one shot. Okay, at the four. Seconds? They're divisible by 20. What? Yeah, that, that guy right there jumping around pretty much shows that uh, we can actually jump across the different buildings. Oh, the counterattack. Interesting. Yay. Keep stealing stuff. At the top, oh, yeah. Oh. Burning Fisto. I think that's a new blitz technique, isn't it? Oh no, maybe it's just a weapon for. Yeah. Knuckles that may cast fire upon striking an enemy. I don't know if I ever gotten that before, actually. Maybe have it. Maybe I just didn't realize that's what it did. Uh, who are you? I think you're in the way. You need to die. What brings you up here on the fine day? On this fine day, do you need to get through? I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be in the way. I'm not very strong in a fight, and I'd hate for there to be any trouble. So why don't you, I just let you pass? <laughs> Ends up fighting in me, anyways. Uh. I think I'm just gonna keep doing what I've been doing. Uh oh. Okay, it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Ooh, stole something actually valuable. Not that valuable, but all right, valuable, I guess. I guess I can keep mugging. Sure, noise busted. He used two potions. He used three potions. And use protect. Luckily, I have magic. Oh, <laughs> it doesn't do that much damage. I do not know what noise blaster does. Wow, I still do a lot of damage. What? <laughs> Where'd you guys come from? Well, that kind of sucks too. Like. It won't, like, it doesn't still count, you know, they appeared for the Bio Blaster to hit everybody. Oh, he did. He did. He did. Interesting. Twisted head to bend, though. Alright, let's go ahead and heal. Oops. Uh, I think Savin can probably take that, right? Sure, because he's a martial artist. Uh, you can have more HP, actually. Any evasion. 
Why the hell not? We're good. Oh. Actually, is that a door? Back door. All right. This should be where Tara is hiding out. Oh, well, she's sleeping with her eyes open. Ah, uh, girl. Tara. Tara. She's frightened. Ramu. I wonder if we know that he's Esper. Who are you? This girl is your friend, I presume. Tara, is she alright? So her name is Tara. Tara, you say? Interesting. What? She's half feral right now. Her life is in no danger. She simply used a power she didn't know she had. It overwhelmed her. Now her body won't listen to what she's telling it to do. As for myself, I am Ramu. Esper. Ramu. You're an Esper? Don't Espers live in another world? That doesn't mean there's anything stopping us from living in this one. Espers come in a variety of forms. My appearance is similar to your own, so I can live here as one of you. Without fear of anyone discovering the truth. Until now. Why well, hide the fact that you're an Esper? Well, humans and Espers are incompatible creatures. But my grandma told me that humans and espers once lived side by side. Of course, that was only a bedtime story. No, that was no fairy tale. That was the truth. Humans and espers used to live together in harmony. At least, until the War of the Magi. Until the War of the Magi? It took place long ago. Espers fought humans who had been infused with magical powers extracted from other espers. After a meaningless war had ended, the Espers fashioned a new realm to which they exiled themselves. They feared that if they remained, it would only be a matter of time before their powers were targeted again. But then one day, about 20 years ago, humans stumbled upon the entrance to that hidden realm. Humans who knew of Espers and the secrets of our powers. And thus began the hunt. For Gestal, the leader of men, knew that he could use power to strike from us to create an invisible army. As soon as we realized that was happening, we erected a massive gate and forced the humans out. Those who are captured are now in the Empire's Magitech research facility, being drained of their powers. I narrowly escaped that same fate, and now I am here with you. <laughs> She's dragging Tara by her hair. <laughs> I'm just kidding. She seems to have calmed down a bit. I called Tara here to me when I sensed that she had lost control. She responded to that call. Interesting. So, Tara's a uh, Esper? An Esper? No, she's a bit different from us. She looks like she's in pain. She is afraid of what she is, and that is a painful thing. What can we do to help her? Uh, once she understands her true nature, the fear and doubt should subside. Is there nothing we can do? The others of my kind who are trapped in Gastal's magic research facility may be able to help her. And if we can get inside that facility, you're sure we'll find them? The Magitech Research Facility. Your people are in there. 
I escaped alone, abandoning my friends and hiding like here like a coward. But I fear I can remain here no longer. What do you mean? Castal's methods are mistaken. You can't drain Esper's power by force that awakens them. Only when we become Magicite can our powers be transferred in full. What are you saying? I'm going to turn myself into Magicite so that I may lend you my strength. Magicite? Magicite is in Asper's power in its purest form. When Esper dies, Magicite is all that is left behind. But... It's okay, we have more Magicite from other Espers willing to uh, give us their powers. These are my companions who fell as we fled the Empire, and I will give you my power as well. Oh no! Wow! Blink, blink, blink. Old man, you're really gone, aren't you? And we just met. He turned himself into Magicite. He gave up his life to help us. Let's get this. Why would you do such a thing? If our powers are used for destruction, the skies will darken and life will fade from the earth. You must stop them. There must not be a second war of the Magi. Yes. Oh <laughs> boy. Yes, dance. <laughs> Obtain Ruma Magicite, Cat Sith Magicite, Siren, and Kirin. Alright, so it's. Boy, let me use it now. Uh, oh, yep. So here we have new slots. And yeah, we can put a Magicite in it. And of course, we have a bunch that we can get. Uh, I don't know if I'll get every single one. I probably should, maybe. I mean, it's not that necessary. But what it does is it gives us the ability to learn these uh, different magics. So let's think. Also, if you look at the uh, final thing at the bottom, it says at level up. This one, uh, Ruma gives stamina plus one. This one doesn't do anything. This one does 10% HP increase. This one's plus one magic. So I usually kind of split it up to see... Er, to like make people dedicated, you know, uh, spellcasters, warriors, so on and so forth. So um, I'll probably give the HP up. I guess to Sabine. Uh, Celeste can definitely get the magic up, uh, plus one, I think. Though she should probably learn all of her. Uh, what do you call it? It's, uh, healing, white magic abilities. Um, Edgar. I guess it doesn't matter. And then like that. And then I'll probably cycle them around each other so that they can have. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, mastery of all those spells. Not like I want to use all of them, but yeah, it's a thing <laughs> that I like doing. Anyways, Terra, wait for us. We'll be back for you. Let's waddle. Oh, all of our people are here. Everyone's here. I was just thinking. Let's talk on the way back down. Oh, just teleports out. Sure. So the Empire's been draining magic from Espers. <laughs> God, I was just jumping off. Celeste, was all of this that true? I was asleep when they performed my infusion, so I don't know for sure. But I've heard rumors to that effect. I mean, yes, it's true. <laughs> I mean, as you see right here, we're learning magic right now from this magic site. But I suppose we must find a way to slip into the Empire. We best split up again. We still need to beef up our defenses in Narsh. That would indeed would indeed be wise. Uh, I think I'll just play the same party. There's really no need to switch a rue. 
Unless Celeste just leaves. I'll go to the Empire. I know it inside and out. But alone? Or maybe she's forced to be in the party. Don't worry, I'll go with her. So these two maybe are in the party? Lock. It may not hurt to have a few more people along. Alright, so we're forced to have these two. I wonder if we just should cycle around the other dudes just so they have more screen time. No, I really don't like Gao. <laughs> to be honest, he's not that good to use, in my opinion. Let's just keep it what we had. And then later on we can start branching around with other characters. Wait for us back in Narsh. Don't worry, we'll be fine. If we need to change party members, I guess we'll just head back to Narsh. Which could take forever. So, how are we going to get there? The Empire is on the southern continent. They closed down all the harbors, so there aren't even any ships sailing in there anymore. The town of Jador to the south is full of wealthy aristocrats. One of them might know a way in. Where there's a gill. Lock. Yeah. Why are you coming with me? Um... Well, there's a rumor about that legendary treasure being there and all. I just wanted to have a look around. Sure. Alright. So technically there was like a secret thing in there. That's why uh, earlier there dudes talking about like time and stuff. But, eh. I'll do it at some future time. For now it's onwards to... Or I guess back to Jador to see what these... uh. Aristocrats know. But now as you can see everyone has magic now. Due to the uh magic site. Yeah, we'll just slowly increase it as uh we gain levels. talk to probably the northerners right because they're rich let's say a little choice oh yeah go to the opera house for fun today's auction's over oh <laughs> I guess he knows those cute eyes yeah uh, I guess the auction's not going on right now. I actually have a lot of money again. You get money pretty quick in this game. Airship. Catapult. <laughs> so this dude's saying maybe we need to, get a, need to get an airship, but... I don't know about that. Oh. These energy gooders or something like that. Maybe, yeah, let's go to that mansion again. Maybe that dude, hey, 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 <laughs> get out of the way. Maybe this dude in here. Oh, Maria. M me? Sorry, I mistook you for someone else. Wow, you, you could pass for Maria in a heartbeat. Oh, dear. We're really in trouble this time. Oh, I guess we have to go to uh, the opera house, actually. Celeste looks like Maria. <laughs> Idea. <laughs> She's still in this stance. Uh, let's see. Let's see what he says. Uh, oh, he dropped the thing in the bobber. This man must have dropped this. That man's the director of the trope that performs at the opera house. Everyone just calls him 
impresario. He's been in a tizzy ever since that letter arrived. Tizzy? What does it say? Dearest Maria, I've decided to take you as my wife. So I'm... I'll be coming to kidnap you. The wandering, gal uh, the wandering gambler. Who's this wandering what's-his-face? Were you born on a farm, son? <laughs> Jeez. This is Setzer, actually. Mm, spoiler. A gambling vagabond who finds freedom from society's narrow views of morality. Aboard his airship, the Blackjack. Setzer. That would be Setzer, owner of the world's only airship. If we had that airship, we'd have our way into the Empire. Let's set up a meeting with this Setzer. Well, we gotta go to the Opera House. So. I love how they like automatically switched it to uh, Celeste. Alright. Er, quick save. Oh, I think I can just go straight down, actually. Give me a high push. Oh, gold needle. I'm gonna try to switch to, uh. Oh, I guess it doesn't matter. So I switched to, um. Auto bow, but. It's interesting how a plant can get poisoned. Can't tell if I did more or less damage. I just know Aura, Aura Cannon will kill it in one shot. Wow, that's a lot of money. Alright. Ah. Two levels. Oh yeah, what sucks though is that though they do tell you that you learn new magics or whatever, but they don't tell you if you like fully mastered that Esper or not. So you gotta have to uh, either pay attention to what you learn uh, magic-wise, or just periodically. Uh, wow, that did a lot of damage. Periodically, you know, check to see what you've uh, unlocked. Maybe it doesn't even tell me. Uh, let's see. Oh. So as you can see, they give us a percentage of how much you've actually uh, mastered it. But, alright. Impresario. Ah, it's you again. Looks like you dropped it on purpose. We read that letter. So Setzer is coming to snatch Murray away. He'll probably appear right at the climax of the first act. He loves to make an entrance. Sigh. Alright, when he shows up, we'll jump out and nab him. Dear me, no. You'll ruin the performance. I'll lose my job. <laughs> Celeste. But if you don't do anything... Oh, this is simply horrible. I want the performance to be a success, but I don't want Maria to be abducted. Let him grab her. We'll use decoy. Once he's got her, we'll follow him right back to his airship. If all goes well, we should be able to commandeer it. Jeez. <laughs> Grand Theft Airship. Are you mad? If anything should happen to Maria. Wait. Wait. That's why we used the decoy, you dumbass. <laughs> we can hide Maria someplace safe. Come again? You said Celeste looks like Maria, right? Now, just a minute. If he can be our Maria, we'll let Setzer kidnap her and lead us to his airship. Brilliant! What is it? Wait! 
Hold on there. I'm a former general, not some opera floozy. <laughs> what? Why'd she run off like that? Oh, she's <laughs> practicing. <laughs> Fuck. Cough. Me, me. Maria. <laughs> uh, Celeste, you're funny. I can only imagine what they... Because, you know, they're remaking Seven, right? It would be interesting if they remade the older ones and had voice acting and stuff. At least for these that didn't have voice acting to begin with. Those otros. Wah! I got my own little surprise plan for y'all. Just like Seltzer, it'll be tons of fun. <laughs> oh, did you just shoot out another letter? Better get to work. We've got to make a star of you, Celeste. Uh. Gah! Isn't anyone gonna read it? I guess I'll read it later, but. Oh, yeah, this part's. I don't think it really matters. So, what's happening in a second is we have to learn the verses to this song. Um, but I don't remember if they care if I miss it or not. Mess it up. But uh, I guess we'll wait and see. I'm gonna try my best to remember it, but if I forget or mess it up, then it's whatever. <laughs> Those uh, cellists are pretty funny. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't do it like that. The war between the East and the West was growing more violently by the day. Draco, a soldier from the West. I think it's supposed to be like a. Things of his love, Maria. It's supposed to be like a Romeo and Juliet type of story. Actually, no. No, because Draco and Maria are from the same, like, uh, region. He's just off uh, fighting a war right now. Mm, chocobos. Oh, no. Oh. Like you got hit or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna sing this. there. I go to a rating room where Celeste is. Kupo. Sucks I don't have my sprint shoes. It's okay though. Right, Celeste, you ready? Oh, whoops. I'm in the wrong place. I have to come up here later. This way. Alright. Alright, what's up, Celeste? You looking mighty fine there, girl. Have you always been that pretty? Locke, why did you stand up for me when you did? Because I'm tired of standing by and doing nothing while I lose the girls I like. So, wait. <laughs> Am I just a replacement for her? Come out a little strong there, Locke. That ribbon looks nice on you. I have to go on stage soon. The next scene's an important one. Maria starts to worry that something's happened to Draco and pours her feelings into song. Shouldn't you check the score one last time? 
All right, see if I can remember. Oh, my hero, my beloved, shall we still be made to part? The promises of perennial love yet sing here in my heart. I'm the darkness, you're the starlight, shining brightly from afar. There are hours of despair after this prayer to you, my evening star. Must my final vows exchange be with him and not with you? Were you only here to quiet my fear, oh speak, guide me anew. This is where you uh, pick up the flowers, climb the stairs, and toss the flowers from the highest balcony. Be sure to finish by the end of the interlude. There isn't much time before I start of scene two. I press Ario. And then scene two happens. I'll read it one more time. Oh, my beloved. Oh, my hero, my beloved. Shall we still be made to part? The promises of perennial love. Yet sing here to my in my heart. I'm the darkness. You're the starlight shining brightly from afar. Through hours of despair, I offer this prayer to you, my evening star. Must my final vows exchange be with him, and not with you? Were you only here to quiet my fear? Will speak, guide me to you. All right. I will see if I can memorize that. We shall see. All right. Uh, nope, we out. It is time to make our debut as Maria. Most armies were defeated, and Maria's castle fell in the hands of the East. And so she had to marry somebody else. Yep, forced to wed the Eastern Prince, Ralph. Maria still thinks only of Draco as she gazes at the stars each night. Oh, my hero. It's like karaoke. <laughs> I'm the darkness. Oh. What? <laughs> Just because I didn't choose it. Oh no. Oops, that wasn't it, was it? Are we to start all over? I see. Huh. So they're gonna make me do it all over again. Just a royal mess, but we managed to keep the stage. Show still on for the next three days. Let's make this happen. So I had it highlighted, but I just didn't select it because I was like trying to like time it correctly. Fine. All right. <laughs> so I think I do remember it all. I just actually have to select it. It won't let it like be right if you don't select it. That's dumb. Anywho. We'll slip up this time. So I'm sorry. <laughs> she had a stage fright. Nope, we're good. You know what happens if you mess up all three times or whatever. I guess four technically. What if it'll start from scratch or continue from where it left off? Looks like it starts from scratch. Yep. Go ahead and uh, commit to each line right away. So this BS won't happen again. Oh, my hero. I wish I read, read the thing again. Yeah, we never talked, or she never talks about Prince Ross because screw that guy. Mm -hmm. 
Alright, time to throw some flowers off the thingy. Dance with me. Wait. Aha. Uh -huh. For some reason I thought I messed up, but the thing is the flower just never showed up, so I was supposed to. Hiya! <laughs> Definitely like an alto piece. Oh, that's Ross. Prince Ross is. Oh, that's just Chancellor. Looking for his dance partner. Dance partner. Please leave the past behind. Our kingdom is part of the East now. And she suicides out the building. It's like. <laughs> uh, things you have to do. What was that Ross? <laughs> I love how he's just a palette swap. Where's the other dudes? You are wonderful, Celeste. I owe you guys one, so I'm gonna jam up your opera. Uh oh, better tell the Impressio. Report the Impressio at once. Say, so, hey! We got a sticky situation. What? The Western survivors attack. Impossible. Attack. <laughs> this part of the script, I don't even know. Wait. <laughs> Draco out of nowhere. So this part is part of the script. Incident rogue. <laughs> then prepare to die. Then let's duel. <laughs> then they whip out Yu-Gi-Oh deck decks and stuff. Uh, time to do well. Palsy planning to disrupt the opera. With that? 100 pounder, or 4 tons. Mwahaha, <laughs> let's see if Maria can shrug this off. Yeah, this is heavier than I thought. It's going to take me 5 minutes to push this thing off. <laughs> 5 minutes. We have a second to lose. Let's talk to Stage in the room t up on the right. He'll help you get up there. Leave it to us. Oh, what? What? Why did he go down that way? That was weird. Alright. If 
five minutes. Uh, oh, it's still counting. I don't have time to read. Lower the switch on the far right, but don't touch the others. Oh. Wait, what? Door on the room on the left side. This stage should be open now. You can get to the catwalk from there. Oh. I had to go all the way out and back and around. Jeez. Wait, don't touch the others. I wonder what the others would have done. No time to waste. Let's go. Alright. Don't touch the others. Oh, that's crap. I should have just went in. Don't tase me, bro. Bro. Hadouken, bro. <laughs> That's, oh no. Oh Jesus, this is not good. Alright, cool. It's gonna be cutting it close, I'll tell you that. Ooh, new blitz technique. What's this new blitz technique? We got Rising Phoenix. It's like a SPD. Oh, I realize it's Meteor Strike. I never used that one. I believe Rising Phoenix does AoE damage. So that's perfect for our situation. Oh! It didn't do that much damage, though. Rising Phoenix. It's not that effective. But everything's dead. Mind silence. Uh, this way. Alright, we just gotta fight! 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 It's no time. Yeah, the Rising Phoenix should kill off the other mices. Mices. Then everyone else can just attack the middle guy. Let's go. Oh, this way. Oh, what? Oh, what? I think I'm gonna heal before I fight Ultros, so. though. Hmm. Yeah, Rise of Phoenix is super effective against the uh, green mouses. Mices. Mousies. Let's go ahead and turn off auto battle. Alright, let's see here. Alright, so he is good to go. But let me look at the other guys. Almost good to go. Oh, I guess he can switch to you then. Since, uh, who's their face is not using it right now? Huh? Oh, rats! Oh, okay. <laughs> it just knocks us off, the raptors. It's a mess. Oh no, this will never do. With those two flattened, there's no one to win the girl. How can the story possibly continue? Lock in there. <laughs> Say, I know. Neither Draco nor Ross will win Celeste's hand. It is I, Lock, the world premier or world's premier adventurer, who shall take her as my wife. Oh dear, what dreadful acting! <laughs> Silence, Knave. You stand in the presence of octopus royalty. <laughs> a lowborn thief like you could never defeat me. I challenge you to a duel. Huh. Might as well make the most of this. Music! 
That's not even like the same music. It's me again. Long time no see. Did you miss me? Uh, do you know? Does he know fire? He does not know fire. He can use the bob blaster. The mug. He's Phoenix. Because he's still weak against fire. I think he's technically weak against holy as well, right? But no one knows holy, obviously. Oh, not the acid rains. Give him the drill. I don't have the drill. <laughs> this sucks. I don't know if you can buy it yet. Because I don't have the drill yet. What's up, the ultra laser? Yeah. I don't know when you can buy the drill. But I do not have it right now, unfortunately. I feel like such a sucker. Well, kids, hate to ink and run. But I'm an octopus. <laughs> Easy. Good thing I had a... He only had two gil. Good thing I had a... Rising Phoenix. That made it a lot easier to fight. Hold it right there. My compliments on a most impressive performance. Setzer enters the building. Wow. Oh, well, it's good against him later. For sure. Yeah, I think Drill's good, like, for single target, like, bosses and stuff like that. But yeah, I definitely remember having the Drill. I'm a man of my word, Impresario. I'm taking Maria. Wow. Unforeseen twist at every turn. Just as we think Maria is to become Locke's new bride, she's dragged off by Setzer instead. What fate lies in store for her now? Be sure to come back and see part two. It's like Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> That's a wrap. Damn, just like push it in here. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll give you plenty of attention later. Ah. <laughs> Wink. Wait. Interesting. <laughs> I didn't know how to get through the. I don't even know how they got in here. What a performance. You're a great fate actress, Celeste. Enough. But the real show starts now. It's time for Act 2. Where sets her? You should be right back. That's probably funny. What are you doing in here? You're not Maria, are you? Sets her, we need your help. We need to get to Vector. Your ship is the only... If you're not Maria, then we have nothing to talk about. Jeez. Wait. We heard that your ship is the finest vessel in the world. And that you were the world's greatest gambler. I'm the king of Figaro. If you help us, you'll be well rewarded. Come with me. And then you'll... Don't misunderstand me. I still haven't said I'll help you. Shot director in the airship. Hmm. Business has been awfully slow lately, thanks to the Empire. You're not the only one suffering. The Empire has been toppling towns and villages left and right. They're abusing their magic tech power and trying to take over the world. My kingdom was allied with the Empire until recently. Maybe you want to be a slave to the Empire, but I sure don't. Setzer. Hmm. We're at least together in hating the Empire, right? So please. You know, I think you might be even cuter than Maria. Huh? <laughs> Alright. If you... If Celeste becomes my wife, I'll help you. Otherwise... What? Are you crazy? Fine. <laughs> Wait. Great. It's settled. But I have some conditions. We flip this coin. If it's heads, you help us. If it's tails, I'm yours. Well, Mr. Gambler? Ha! 
I like it. I accept. Celeste, are you serious? If you marry that guy... Really? Heads, I win. Now it's time for you to hold up your end of the bargain. <laughs> double heads. A valuable trinket indeed. I've never seen a double headed coin before. That coin. Edgar, don't tell me. I'm afraid you've been hustled, Mr. Gambler. But that's part of the game now, isn't it? <laughs> Get him. Ha! How low can you stoop? I love it. Alright, I'll help you. Gambling against the Empire, with nothing to lose but my life. I haven't felt so excited in years. <laughs> that's funny. My life's a chip in your pile. Yancy up. Alright. I wonder if we have all our pirate members or maybe just... Wait, I can't believe this chunky old thing can fly. You sure it's it'll stay in the air? When things fall, they fall. Life's a game of chance. You play your cards, and fl uh, fate plays hers. They'll spot us in the air from miles away if you try to fly this thing into the Empire. We better land a safe distance away. That sounds like a good idea. I'll stay on board and keep the ship ready to take off at a moment's notice. It looks like our other party members aren't with us. It's only the four of us. Oh! I like those searchlights. It's very primitive, but it does what it needs to do. This is actually giving me uh, Final Fantasy VII vibes. It's as if they're flying into Midgar. Uh, wait, is that a moon symbol? Why is there a moon symbol on? Uh... Uh, Sabin's little character card there. It's interesting. Anyways. Let's uh, go and fly towards. Wait. Oh, should be a. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm, healing thingy. There should be items, yep. Do I need to buy anything? I don't think so. Get some more holy water. Whoops. <laughs> you cancel. Not like I really will use it, but you never know. Uh. Then I need to get to the bridge. This is just a blank room for no reason. Oh, okay. Uh, oh. This is. Oh, this is an empty room. Uh, let's get to the bridge. Need to re unequip some party members. Mm, now we're good. Uh, nothing's there. Nothing's there. The sensor is chilling right there. See, how do we fly this thing? What's the matter? Lost your nerve to take on the Empire? Well, no, I'm just trying to figure out how to fly your ship. Did I pass it already? Oh. There we are. There we go. Uh, isn't that the helm? I'd like to fly, please. Uh, am I already at the place I need to be? I just need to walk there? Well, why would I? You can't now. You gotta make me walk all the way there. Why can't we just fly, like, very close? Oh. I guess this is pretty close. Mm, auto crossbow. Rising Phoenix. Mug. Oh, see, she can't use Runic for whatever reason. Have to walk to Vector? Oh, I see. Wing snap. 
<laughs> yeah, I didn't realize we pretty much landed like walking distance away. No matter. Let's save again. All right. Huh. Seven's name came back instead of Monk. What if that meant uh, he was blind? Haven't I seen you around here before? Why don't you go? Wait. Why don't you go climb back down whatever hole you crawled out of? Jeez. Why so mean? Nah. Something's so peculiar. Whoa, there's two people here. I think I'm going to stay here and apply to become a soldier. In the same army that destroyed our village. What about your promise to start over Miranda? Interesting how they're just chilling there in the bed. And we can just go in there and walk, talk to them. Uh, oh yeah, I remember that you can go that way, I think, but you face like impossible boss. Shh, I'm a returner. I forgot all about you. A what? I'll distract the soldiers. Use this box to climb up onto the steel beams and sneak into the research facility. Sounds good. I'm ready. Actually... <laughs> it's crazy old man. Being crazy. Oh, must have had a few too many... Wait. Is there... There's no uh, weapons. Uh... Weapon shop here, right? Wait, why can't I even get up on the beams? Wait, something. Oh, there it is. You need a jail before this? I knew, but I don't know if there was the uh, if there was a shop here or not. I was kind of curious. Uh oh. What if I can just. Hey, how'd you get back there? <laughs> well, if this is an impossible boss. I don't think it's going to be. Let's go looking for a uh, drill. I did no damage. Hopefully this is not an impossible boss. This would be pretty sad. Nope, they're all dead. So I'm pretty sure I could have just like not even asked the old guy for help. Yeah. Oh. Never mind. Uh, one second. I don't think there's a weapon shop. Oh, there is a weapon shop. I didn't go this way. What are you doing? Are you Lord of the Empire? No. What? <laughs> <laughs> Should have said yes. It's okay. Some like goons out of nowhere. That's pretty funny. Though, you know, it's pretty appropriate because, again, we're in the capital, pretty much, right? Of uh, the Empire, so... Obviously, you can't just be saying stuff like that. Hmm, you might just be able to do it. Alright. Let me get that drill. That was not in here, though. It's okay. Oh. I think I can get two of these bastard swords. The question is, where do they sell the drill? So they keep walking around. Maybe I'll find it somewhere else. Twist the headband. Priest Mitter. Ninja gear. I can get two of those. Missile vest. White dress. Oh, she has nothing on her. What? <laughs> I kind of forgot to re-equip her after uh, her thingy. Uh, I guess I can get her hyper wrist. I 
Venus hairbands. Magus hat. Just the headband. It said Figaro Castle. Not sure if you can go back now out across the street to see you through. It's way too strong. Uh, huh. I guess that's my fault for uh, kind of just breezing through Figaro Castle the second time. Oh, yeah. I already talked to her. That should be okay. Yeah, I don't think I can go back either. Uh, is there a map button? Yeah, I'm... Only unless I can... There's another town up here I can go to. That might have the drill. I can check, I guess, but... I mean, just having Sabin here is just way too strong for everything, so. I think I should be alright regardless, but. What? What's it do with an umbrella? He tried to hit me with the umbrella. There is a town up here, hopefully. Oh. Obey the Empire. Well. Oh, there's the weapon shop. Hey. Can I buy a drill here? I cannot buy the drill here. It won't, but auto crossbow is good all game. Plus the license powerhouse all day. Boomerang. I guess I can buy the boomerang while I'm here. <laughs> it's only seven more attack damage, but it's good enough. I'm guessing there's nothing here, huh? Other than, I guess, the new armor. Oh, yeah, I remember that's a uh, dungeon later on. If there's any other relics I can get. Oh, I can get another earring, actually. Well, I can get some haste, actually. I can only buy one of them, though. I really do want haste. Haste is too good. So I can equip it on Sabine. Uh, then he can AoE for days. And then I'll decide whether or not I want to uh, have him have the jeweled ring to prevent a uh, zombie. Let's get out of here. Back to Vector. Yeah, just between Auto um, Crossbow and Rising Phoenix, it's just easy battles. I should also see if, uh, yeah. He didn't finish learning everything yet, so. Alright. Let's just get in there. Shh, I'm returning. I heard about you. <laughs> it's like. I wonder if they're gonna do the exact same, like. Yep. <laughs> it's like, uh, you've already done this bit. <laughs> tries again. <laughs> oh jeez. Alright. In and out really quick. Oh, it's not as quick as I was hoping.
That is no damage. These guys are strong. I us probably switch to auto crossbow. Cause I know some uh, enemies are weaker against the bio blaster, but I guess that should do a uh, auto crossbow. Uh, trying to take the least amount of steps so I don't have to encounter too many dudes. Ooh, flame tongue. Mm, we should use that actually. Celeste. Because fire upon striking, I guess, increases our magic, so let's go ahead and have her have flame tongue. Uh, where else do we go? Can go that way. Wait, I think it came from up there, right? Oh, is it two of you? Yes, there is. Alright. And then, yeah. Even auto crossbow doesn't do that much damage. Jeez. These guys are just much tankier than uh, the other guys. Oh, yeah, I just need to. Seven to just keep doing Rising Phoenix. So. And I'm starting to think maybe I should just use Bio Blaster because it might poison them. In silence. Oh, dang it! <laughs> this leaves me nowhere. Oh, there's this tube right here actually. Uh, let's do this one. Oh, didn't matter. Take ether. Oh, onion yikes are defeated. Uh yeah. Oh nice. Oh no. Yeah, I thought so. I'm pretty sure this missile launch got to level up. Yeah. I'm kind of sort of trying to hold off on leveling because I do want to, like, make sure I have Esper's equipped. Keep grinding, good luck. So yeah, I do want to be able to grind with Esper's so I can increase the stats and stuff. But, so we'll see. An X potion. Ah. Oh, they're all dead. Learn fire. Alright, she's done with Siren. Um, I wanted to finish learning all these. Let's switch her back. Right, seven. Because you can just hold on to this one while we're waiting. Lock's almost done. That's fine. Wait, do I need heal? Yeah, I'll heal. Oh. Wait, maybe I didn't want to do that. That's okay.
Yeah, I'll probably get hit by these launchers. Oh, blind, right? Yep. That should be okay, though. Hmm. Yeah, I heard in this game, uh, blind and whatever, just accuracy in general is broken. I guess the way they programmed it didn't really, like, work or something. So, it's okay if we're blind. Thunderblade! Because somebody else can use that one. I feel like Thunderblade's gonna be better than Flame Tongue, actually. Remedy. Oh. I missed that item, whatever that is. Hopefully, it's nothing that uh, necessary. to take laser. Ouch. More lasers. Ooh, four magic AP for that. Oh, so many onion knights. I think they all die <laughs> from this one rising phoenix. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> I was like, what? That's what happened last time. So we're all blind already. Now some of us are dead. Program 35! Oh. <laughs> I don't even know what that does, but... It's alright. Sorry, Locke, you're dead. Alright. So that's another Esper done. I guess, uh, seven and... Uh, seven and Edgar can switch. That's first. Dragon Boots. What do those do? Dragon Boots. They... Oh, allow me to use jump. Uh, I don't really need that, right? attack <laughs> oh nice not so nice that is so much damage Lock learning Thunder. This lock can kind of chill out for a little bit. Uh, get some more stamina, that's fine. So, stamina in this game means uh, ability to. Uh, 
tank damage. It's pretty much your defense skill. Oh yeah, there is a relic that allows us to skip all battles. Like, you don't get any random encounters. But you don't get that too much later, so... I won't be able to get it for a while. Oh, let's show chips. It's a tent. Cause I think I like saw that door out of the corner of my eye. Let's see, it's that block use. Well, oh, you can't even use that uh, golden helm. You can. Oh, she can. Sounds good to me. All right, I'd go all the way back, huh? Let's get for exploring. That's okay. We got some rides in Phoenix to clear everything. I wonder if that platform's gonna come up or not. I'm feeling it won't, but you never know. Ow. Nice. Oh, did, I, did they just say I obtained another Bioblaster? Uh, I think it said it had another Bioblaster. I did. <laughs> Interesting. Too bad I didn't drop a drill. That would be pretty cool. Because I missed uh, the drill back in the... Uh, Back when I went through Figaro again. But oh well. Oops, I can't. I right, gotta go all the way back. Oh, it looks like there's a door right there. But that one I can't go into. Yeah, by the looks of it. People are, yeah, everyone still gains like a little bit of stats per level. But if you want to focus something and add on to what you can get, you would equip the Esper that uh, adds to that particular stat. Right now, I don't really have uh, many Espers that would give good stat boosts. So, I'm kind of hoping to hurry up and get to the next couple of uh, Espers here. But uh, I think I'm wasting some levels here early on. It's not too bad though, because most likely you're not going to have everyone max out their stats. Um, but of course, you're able to if you uh, keep everyone low level until you gain uh, the proper. Oh wow. Oh wow. Okay. I'm done. <laughs> I didn't have to go all the way out and around. I just come up through here. But yeah, it looks like I am gaining uh, a lot of AP at least. Alright, so I gotta figure out how to get down there. Yeah, these battles won't be so bad if uh, some of us can actually do more damage, but it's not really working out that way. 
Mithril mail. Oh, I actually missed while I'm blind. Interesting. But yeah, two Rising Phoenix kills them regardless. If anything, I should just put everyone to defend. Except for uh, Locke, because he's going around stealing. Ooh. That's a lot of abilities learned just now. It's funny, I'm like chilling here with this. Uh... Oh, what missing? Oh! It's Mr. Kefka. I'm a god. I'm all powerful. <laughs> I'll collect more espers. I'll extract their magic. And then. I'll revive the warring triad. That laugh, though. Oh, Shiva. I've already drained all your powers. You're useless to me now. Dang. Just kick him around like that. Good for it, too. You two, take a hike. Jeez. I'd be uh, interesting to see how they would reimagine that in the 3D world. Oh yeah, so if I wanted to go back, I would just take that little platform to the right there. But I think I got everything I need, so let's go ahead and get out of here. And these are actually going to be the next two espers we're going to get. Mr. Shiva, or Mrs. Shiva, and Mr. Ifrit. Um. Oh. Well, that's a flan. This Rising Phoenix should be able to kill all of them. Unless they're uh, strong against it. Nope, they are weak against that crap. <laughs> A lot. Oh, they only gave me one, one uh, AP there. Interesting. I couldn't talk to Shiva, but I have to talk to Ifrit. All right, let's go ahead and uh, mug. Actually, it's Sadiq and you. Dang it! It's too late. No damage. What do you mean no damage? Yeah, give me that. There we go. Ouch. Uh, I can thunder you. I forgot what meteor smashes. So I would do that actually. Oh, what the? I forgot about that. So, pretty much it absorbs any fire or any uh, magic that we cast. Not just the enemy's magic. I see. Actually, do I remember what meteor? Yes, I do. Take Meteor Strike! Oh, I missed. <laughs> oh, can't run away. I can use fire, though. You know what else I can use? I can use... Rising Phoenix! No items. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I thought he died. Or she died. Uh, we have thunder, but... Let's try this again. Oh, what? How did I miss that? Oh.
Ouch. <laughs> All right, Parmy wants to kind of just go for it. Go for the kill here. Ouch. I definitely have to go for the kill here. Yep, you're dead. Who are you? I sense a kindred spirit. You have Ramu's power. Wait. You wear... Espers. Hmm. I can see why Ramu entrusted you with his power. Watch there be a save point in one of these rooms, actually. When they finish draining us of our powers, they dump us down here to die. We haven't much time left. Kastal has captured many more of us. They're all here being drained of their powers. I, too, suffered my turn in one of those capsules. We have removed our we're siblings, each of us born with different elemental power. If Ramu was willing to sh give you the strength, then we shall do the same. Our friends are also running out of time. I'm sure they will lend you their strength as well. Ifrit, Shiva. Alright, let's see here. I feel like I should just keep on going. Oh, Shiva doesn't give any special, uh, whatchamacallits. I can wait to get the float. Uh, I think there's a safe spot. Yeah. So there was a safe spot. Alright. Just gonna move forward. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be another boss fight. Am I ready? Maybe I should use a tent. Only because I'm running low on magics. Put Edgar up front. In case I need to auto attack for whatever reason. No. What? Oh. Uh. <coughs> auto attack for whatever reason. that uh, slowed him down, right? No, I couldn't slow him down. I've heard me sandals on. I don't know. Yeah, they're dead, whatever. It don't matter now. Nah. Lock one is slow. Oh, just one more and I'll have Siren finished. We'll go down by 18. I feel like that does slow, right? Slow or stop, right? No, not stop, but definitely slow, right? Thunder uh, Blade does more. Or is it Thunder Blade? Level 4 Flare! Uh oh. Oh, my lord! I think I'm gonna go uh, use a tent. <laughs> I really don't want to have to uh, use more Phoenix Downs. I will run away from the next battle. I should have bought smoke bombs. Alright. In the tent. So this game you have sleeping bags and tents. I think the sleeping bags well, I guess the tents, they uh, fill or refill life and MP all the way. In the previous games, they only, like, tents only did 100 magic points. While cottages were the things that restored all of your MP along with your HP. Stole a potion. 
nice. Learn the fire. Alright. Let's have him be Ifrit then, since he has fire already. And fear I can be pretty quick as well. I'm probably rich right now because I've been fighting so much since I've been in this dungeon. Bio attack. Oh, get defended. Edgar learned poison. Yeah, I'm almost 20k. Alright. I think he's about to get a boss battle pretty soon. Oh yeah, that level 4 freaking flare. They're gonna kill my guys again if uh, they pull it off. Nice. Nice. Level 4, yeah, they're still... We're at the end of this. Oh, what the are you? I think they're the same enemies from uh, previous Final Fantasies. I just don't remember what their names are. Definitely the Reptilian. But I'm not sure what else they're mixed with. Oh no, they're absorbed electricity. That's okay. But not fire! Let's probably switch to flame tongue, huh? Ha ha ha. It doesn't have enough MP to re raise. I think re raise is for. You use it before you die, and when they do die, they just get resurrected right there on the spot. But they don't have enough MP anyway, so it doesn't matter. Alright, let's switch uh, Celeste to the flame tongue then. Who are you? Some random dude just chilling there. Whatever you are, you must die! And this is where having a Bio Blaster would have been perfect. I don't know if he does magic attack, so I'm just going to use Runic a couple times to see if he does. So I'm not caught off guard, of course. Couldn't steal. Still a rune blade though. Yeah, Aurora Cannon's pretty much like what should we call it? Whoa, it's weak against <laughs> poison. Probably for only that hit though. Pretty sure he's What if I'm like choosing the element correctly, or is it just I do that much damage? I think Aurora Cannon does holy damage, right? Yeah, it does. That's why I did no damage there. Oh, yeah, let's not. Oh, shoes. Uh. You guys probably do raising fist. Oh, he's dead though. Whoa! The damage! <laughs> 1500. My goodness. Ice Brando. Of course, Ice Brand uh, does ice damage.
<laughs> Just press buttons randomly. You wish to help us, but we haven't long to live. We'll follow Ifrit's example. Our power we entrust to you. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Sid. He's in like this funny jumpsuit. What are those? <laughs> what are those? Because you never seen Magistite before, huh? So Magistite, uh... They voluntarily become Magicite. Though I think they can force them into Magicites. Oh, I guess when they die, they become... Well, I guess. The power contained within these stones is far greater than what we could ever hope to abstract. Hundreds of times greater. Interesting. Oh. They're about to be scattered. Nope, we're taking them. Yeah, let them get that. Mmm, yes. That Magicite. <laughs> all of a sudden, now we have all this match site. Professor Sid, General Celeste, who are these shady characters? Your underlings? No, you see, I. Is it true you worked your way in amongst those rebels as a spy? What? La Celeste? Oh, I see. Magicite. Excellent work, Sid. General Celeste, we needn't keep up the trade any longer. Bring me those magicite crystals. Celeste, you tricked us? Of course not. Please, trust me. He he he, the sweet taste of betrayal. Oh, Celeste, that's so you. Locke, believe me, I... Now! Ah! Uh, kill them all! Why? Locke, let me protect you for once. And maybe, maybe then you'll believe me. She's gonna cast teleport on us, I believe. Or teleport on the bad guys. Celeste, wh what are you doing? Stop! Yep, she's teleporting all the bad guys out of there. Uh, I'm not sure what happens to her quite yet. I kind of forgot what happens to her, but we'll see her later on. Celeste. I mean, you still have Magicite, so she didn't betray us. Obviously. <laughs> Sid guy, though. Hack, cough. What happened? We get out of here, that's what's happening. Oh no, this is bad. That blast reversed the energy flow in the capsules. We need to get out of here. Let's get out of here. Quick, over here. Oh, what have I done? There's no excuse for it, no matter how much Kafka may have threatened me. Draining the life energy from Esther just to make people stronger. You've helped me come to a decision. I'm going to talk to the Emperor. And make him realize how foolish the whole war is. Right, we got a safe spot. That means one thing. All right. Wait. Celeste. I've known her since she was a child. I do to her on her as if she were my own daughter but I also forced her to become a magic knight if I ever get to see her again I want to apologize for all my mistakes oh no it's Kefka somehow go <laughs> see you sucker I don't know what he's Auto attack. Rising Phoenix. It looks like I got fully healed. Water scroll. It's kind of interesting. You have these. There's like this is pretty much like an auto scroller situation. And uh, it's interesting how you have encounters on it.
I was very lucky with that uh, fight just now. That uh, Ooh, learn float. That uh, <laughs> that guy is shifted to holy weakness, and so aura bolt or whatever. There's a butt ton against him at that point, or or a cannon. But yeah. Yeah, at the end of this, of course, we got a boss fight on our hands. I'm really glad I bought the Hermes sandals for uh, what should we call it? Sabin. So just being able to use a uh, flame or rising phoenix is really invaluable. Steal on your uh, arms there. Oh, one arm down. Other arm down. And here, this is where the drill would have been perfect, but I do not have the drill. Yeah, Rising Phoenix, though. I think that's all I need. Couldn't steal. What well, you gonna steal? You gonna steal. Ouch. I did not do that much damage. Give me whatever you have. Ah. Uh, blizzard. Ah. Uh. Oh, let's use, uh... Ruma, a Ramu, net. Oh, he stopped me. Whoa, 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 didn't do that much damage. It's kind of sad, actually. You dead yet? Yes, you are! Yes. Got a tent. All right, let's get us out of here. Whoop! I am. Let's see if I can't heal. Actually, let's switch cat set up with Kirin. Does anybody have heal? Oh, you you don't have heal. That's pretty sad, actually. Let's do it to the chaser. Wow. <laughs> that is it's awkward. <laughs> That's pretty crazy. Just like drop these on your knights out of nowhere. Hey, not dead yet. This is a scripted event. I think it's pretty strong. Oh, they're dead. They are defeated. That chaser is pretty uh, strong there. There we 
you slime some cure, so let's go ahead and use it. That was so much MP. Get that here, Tetsu. You were taking too long, I got worried. Or Celeste. They took her, or she took herself with them. Something. <laughs> we'll talk about it later. Let's get out of here. Nods. Alright. Crud. What a mess. Hee hee hee. You're not getting away from me. Uh oh. Oh yeah, the crane hands. Let's get out of here fast. That probably would have been a good, a good idea, but it seems we're a bit too late. Here they come. What if Setzer will have gear already? I don't like the looks of those things. Whoa, what are those? It's weird. Arm things. I think I'm going to you Oh Jesus. Thunder these cranes. Ah. Uh. Obsidian rabbit. Magoo, magoo. <laughs> what? So I didn't really pay attention to see if I don't know if uh oh no am I supposed to be doing this? Oh. I think I should be doing electricity to it anymore. Dive bomb. Let's do low level thunder. I don't know if it's supposed to take. Yeah, let's just see what this does. Uh oh. Shit. Okay, I wasn't supposed to. I was just testing it out, I didn't know. Oh, one down. Uh oh. Crane shakes the deck. Oh no. Oh no. Alright. I got screwed over there. Alright. Yeah. If I knew I should have floated. Well. So I can just try to finish this fight. Oh, ah. <laughs> I think it's my first game over screen, actually. That's good. Hopefully, I get a resume, right? Oh, that sucks. So much balls. I do all the way from the beginning, more or less. That's dumb. Ah. <laughs> That was a good, like, 10 minutes worth of stuff. That's dumb. Why did they put us so far back?
I feel like this happened before. Now that I think about it. Yeah, they should have let us save after this boss battle. Oh, they're dead again. Learned float. Okay, make sure to cast float on everybody. And do not shock it. I'm trying to use his auto crossbow, but I keep killing it too fast. Wait, oh yeah, I think it's like four scripted battles. It must be the third. Well, that was the third, so it must be the fourth right here. Or maybe I'll just skip the fight. Nope, she's the fourth. Wow, I love, did a lot of damage. Yeah, this should be the boss battle again. Oh, guess not. I guess it's six battles, because this is the fifth one. Fira. I'm probably just auto. Mm, it'll be alright. Looks like they did. Nice. Hey, yeah. Okay, I should probably auto attack the uh, main thing right there.
This time we should be good. I will not make the same mistake again. Blah blah, Kefka, blah blah. Comes. All right. Smart this time. Is there, is there a float? Uh, what else we got? It's fire. Good. Turn on it. See if the rising Phoenix hits both of them. Might just hit one of them. It just hits one of them. Wow. Bahamut, no, not Bahamut. Hey, <laughs> free. Oh, crap. All right, so fire. It's not what I want to use on that side. So electricity is the left side. Fire is the right side that you don't want to hit it with. All right, if that's the case. what that does. It's a prismatic flash. It's dead. We're victorious. Eat that. Alright, we are out. Not sure where we're going, but we are out. I'm worried about Terra. Let's go back to Zozo. Terra, who's that? I'll explain everything on the way. Terra, the Espers, the Returners. I think it's gonna take me back to Zozo. I do wanna buy that drill though. But I don't think they're gonna let me quite yet. Yeah. I wonder if I have to go up to the tower or will it just take me to the tower? Yep, takes me to the tower. Everyone's here. Terra. Magicite for everybody. The Magicite. Might return back to normal, right? No? Father? I remember now. I was raised in the Esper world. Esper world. Ooh. 
Look outside, Koopo. Maybe I just try to leave, right? Oh, some random lady. Hey, pull yourself together. Wait, is this a... Let's take it back to the home. <laughs> That's a sylph. I believe my guy's name is Manduin. Or Manduin? She's quite... She's still quite weak. She'll need to rest for a while. Talk to the person sleeping in the bed, Koopo. She's a human. She must have wandered here and from the other world by mistake. Somehow. Did I wake you? Maduin. You're an Esper? What's this pendant around your neck? Or my neck? I'll give it to you. A charm from the Esper world. The Esper world. So, that is where I ended up. Everyone is at a loss as to how you, a human, could have made it into our world. You're the one who saved me, right? My name is Madeline. I was sick of living in the human world. It's nothing but a vortex of greed and hate. So I wandered out into the storm, and before I knew it, I was here. They say that humans and espers can't coexist. So you don't want me here, right? No, I'm just not sure. I'll return to my own world tomorrow. All right, someone can show you the way back. <laughs> the elder looks kind of funky. Take a look outside again, Koopo. That human already left. I wonder if she'll be all right without a guide. Well, let's go see. What's wrong, man? Doing? If you don't want to go back to your world, you're welcome to stay here. But humans and experts can't be together. How can we know for sure unless we try ourselves? Ooh. Oh. Then the magic happens. How can we know for sure? Unless we. <laughs> He's like dancing around. It's kind of funny. Try it ourselves. And of course, that's how uh, Terra was formed. Meaning conceived because BAM that is the power of guy I've chosen a name for her what is it Terra it's beautiful isn't it Terra meaning earth two years later humans the next between our worlds has opened again this storm is just like the one two years ago it's just this time this time is different this time an army has come seeking our magical powers. And they didn't do anything to stop them. Of course, some of them are not warriors, but still. This is no good. Retreat to the Elder's house. Yes, if anything, you know, you live in peace for a long time. You don't, you know, have the technology and or mentality to fight. Aha, I finally found it. After all the time spent decoding the secrets of those ancient texts. Now it's time to reap the rewards. Grab them. Riches to any man who catches an Esper. Go! Terra's alright. Alright, Elder Man. We've no choice. We must do what we've been avoiding. You mean the magic barrier? I'll create a tempest to sweep all the invaders out of our realm. Then I'll seal the gate. Even among Espers, the power to create a magic seal is limited to a single bloodline. I am the last of that bloodline. But at your age, I may not survive, and without me, you'll never again be able to open the gate. Madeline. The other world holds nothing for me. Then it's decided. We have no other choice. Take a look outside, Koopo. Oh. Let me outside, Koopo. This is all because of that human woman. Nonsense. She could have led them here for all we know. Enough! No, she's one of them. It's only a matter of time before she decides she wants our power too. Oh no! You had to go and say it, huh? Oh, not the cabbage. Oh, where am I going? It's this way. I think. Wait, where are we? 
Where are you going? Madeline, she... Oh no, but it's already too late. I've begun activating the seal. You won't be able to return. I don't care. We're being pushed out. Tempest. No, just when the ultimate treasure was within my grasp. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. Manduin, I'm not like them. I know. Thank you. Will you come back home with me? Yes, of course. Oh, our baby! Oh, Madeline. Oh, him. <laughs> Maduin. A human woman? Who? Whose child is this? Dang. Leave my daughter alone. Your daughter? Hmm. Then she must be half human and half. How fascinating. <laughs> Looks like my dreams of building an empire may come sooner than I'd ever imagined. Damn, let's take this kid. No, quiet. Dang! Slapped it to the ground. This one will be mine to rule. Ha 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 ha. That's that. Gate is sealed. I'm guessing Maduin is trapped out here too, or has another fate befallen him? I think he became magicide actually. Father? I'm the daughter of an esper and a human. That's why I have these abilities. But I should be okay now. I can control this power as long as I only use it in short bursts. Castell already knew the secret of the esper's power back then. Those espers in the research facility must have been the ones they grabbed that day. And Celeste's power came at the expense of one of them. The Empire won't get away with this. I'll hit that Emperor with a blitz or two. How are things in Narsh? Hmm. Maybe we should head back and see. Yes, let's do it. The airship's ready to go. Come on. <laughs> let's go. Uh, stop posing. There we go. Back to Narsh. I'd like to save if you could. Oh, by all means, take a turn at the wheel. Let me teach you how to fly. Press to move forward, change course by blah blah blah. I'm on a controller, so all this doesn't matter. Press tab to get back to the ship. Once inside, you can change party members to purchase items. A downward pointing arrow appears over the airship when it stops. You can disembark by pressing that while the aerial arrow is displayed. To board the ship, press blank. I think V is X, or like A, if you're on Xbox. Uh, yeah. Got it? Sure. Should I can teach you some special techniques as well? Sure. Press shift to blah blah blah. Blah blah. Strafe, yeah. This is just when trying to land. I see. Head for Narsh Kupo. Alright, we got some sets there up in here. You can start with Unicorn. Oh, Phantom. Oh, so many good ones. Bismarck. Let's do Bismarck, actually. Uh, Ramu has completed. How about you can do Katabopas. We're all healed. We're not all healed. Let's go heal. Heal me, son. Oh. You need a real refreshment. Yes, please. Uh, I'll go buy remedies now if I wanted to. Let's buy some more Phoenix down. Let's get 10 this time. I think everything else is good. Get some smoke bombs for the future. Uh, we're in the air, so I can't just walk out. 
So let's get back to the roof and let's do it. Stop from stop for tonight.